Hey, Grand Island, I'm Tony. And I'm Alex. And today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2010. It's day three. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Yes, tall for the morning to you all, because it's St. Patty's Day. Spear Week Battle of the Glasses continues, as today you'll be wearing the green for St. Patty's Day. Tomorrow is I'm a Slob Day. <laughs> <laughs> He says, oh, that was the day. I'm sorry. Thank you. And Friday is our traditional blue and white day, with plenty of Viking pride on display at the first ever Spring Pep Rally at the Grand Island High School. Woo! It's Spring Pep Rally, the first, Woo! and I can't wait. Yesterday's character day was nothing short of amazing. We had everything from superheroes, musicians, cartoon characters, big mamas, and... <laughs> You know, Indiana Jones, not, I don't know who the kid was, but anyway. And a whole team of Captain Underpants. Did you believe that? Take a look at these characters. It's just crazy. Now that was a lot of character. Officially, the juniors won Boo! character day. While the seniors claimed USA International Day on Monday. That's right. Remember, the class that wins Battle of the Classes earns a nice big cash prize from the student council for their class. Attention, captains of winter and spring sports. There will be a meeting regarding your role in Friday's pep rally. This afternoon uh, at 2.10 uh, p.m. in room 186. If you cannot make it, please see Mr. R. Simpson, that's Robert Simpson, ASAP. Donate life members. Your final meeting in preparation for Awareness Week is today after school in room 215. Please make every effort to attend week. If you don't already know, the Donate Life Festival takes place Friday, March 26th from 7 to 10 p.m. at Grand Island High School. We'll have dancing in the main gym as well as the Can Jam Tournament, and you can even play rock band in the Senior Cafe. Students, you can get free admission to the event by signing your pledge sheets and bringing them to lunch next week. The pledge sheets will be distributed on Monday and Tuesday. will be the day of the, to sign up for the Can Jam and the rock band tournaments. These extra events are on a first-come, first-served basis, and your whole team must have your pledge sheets signed and delivered in order to qualify. Handing in your forms will also allow you to take part in the free basket raffle, where you can win lots of great prizes at the event. So remember, the Donate Life Dance and Festival is Friday, March 26th. Be there. Student Council will hold a meeting after school tomorrow in room 186. All officers should attend. Wonder what they're going to talk about. I don't know. High School Talent Show. Sign up to audition for this show outside of room 184. Sign-ups will be posted from March 24th to April 1st. And that's not April Fool's. Like, no, serious. It's April Fool's Day, but that's not an April Fool's because it's not April Fool's Day today. But it's, it's April 1st, okay? All right. Auditions will take place after school on April 6th and 8th. The talent show is Wednesday, April 28th at 7 p.m. Seniors, the Grand Island Scholarship Book is available online and a new scholarship has been added.
Look on the Grand Island High School website to check out the updated scholarship chart and the link to the new scholarship, the Andrew DeLugos Memorial Scholarship. Any questions? See Mr. Newman in the counseling office. Deadline is April 7th. As we mentioned yesterday, the Grand Island chapter of DECA had a fantastic showing at the state competition in Rochester last week. For a special report with one of our winners, here's Tara. I'm Tara with Viking Vision News, and right now I'm joined by Hillary, who qualified for DECA Nationals along with Viking Vision anchor Kearney. Congratulations to you, Hillary. Now, explain the event you competed in. What did you do to earn such an honor? Thank you, Tara. Um, this is my fourth year doing this actual event. It's travel and tourism. It's a team event. We both have to take a, it's like a hundred question test and then um, do a role play together. We are given like a situation and we have to um, either solve it or like solution for the problem and um, then we have to present it to a judge and then um, we're graded on that in our test. So Hillary, this is your second straight year qualifying for nationals. What does that mean to you? It's just such a great opportunity to be able to go to national, especially last year was in California, and it's just like being there with all these other kids from the entire country and like even other countries. It's just such a great opportunity that I'm so glad I've been able to do. Can you tell us about the importance of learning some business strategies and Hanan's experience from DECA? DECA is just such a great club that will definitely help you with like future and business even if you're not going to go into business with anything with interviewing and skills that will just definitely help you with the future. Finally, what advice would you give students who might be interested in joining DECA? Some people think that like DECA is like this thing you have to do all the time. There's only like a couple meetings and definitely join DECA in the future and it's just such a great experience that you will cherish for the rest of your life. Thank you for joining us, Hillary, and congrats again on your achievement. Now back to you guys. One last announcement for today. Attention all spotlighters, if you are interested in doing one acts, please sign up on Mrs. Macro's door, room 230. All signups must be done before this Friday morning, at Mar that's the March 19th, okay? So please don't wait, next week is the start of rehearsals, so if you wish to sign up, get ready to work. Well that does it for Viking Vision News. I'm Alex Ray. And I'm Tony. And you have a great St. Patty's Day. A good one, man. Or woman. Or anybody else. Especially the Irish. <laughs>